Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. What do you do when you come to Fort Lauderdale? Well, you know, you can go to the theater, but Fort Lauderdale is really a water place. It's a place where you got to get in the water, and of course, you can rent your little skiff, a little boat, or you can, of course, you're very rich, you can take your huge yacht. But how about if you got on a water taxi? Yeah, there are taxis that go in the water. And I'm very excited because I have the owner and the head honcho of the water taxi of Fort Lauderdale, William, we'll call him Bill Walker. So thanks for being on the show, Bill. Well, thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, well, water taxi, it's funny. There are a lot of companies that have names and you have no idea what they do. But there's no reason for someone not to know what a water taxi is, right? <laughs> That's true. The uh, We purchased the company back in 2007, and part of it was the brand name Water Taxi. And um, they're all painted yellow boats, and when we were doing our due diligence, we really saw there was a lot of uh, friendly inertia through the business community for Water Taxi, and we akined this purchase to these three cars of San Francisco. And that's what we wanted to build our business into with Fort Lauderdale. And now it's exp- expanded into five other cities. But uh, that was the goal. So tell me uh, exactly uh, how someone gets on the water taxi. Do they need reservations? How do they do they have to drive, go on the water taxi for the entire um, trip? And can they get off? Can they get on? Just make believe. Why don't we do like make believe? I've just come down here and I'm a tourist. Tell me sure. why I should be on the water taxi. Well, it's really uh, – that's a very good question, and it's a really unique um, experience that we offer. So we cover 17 miles of waterways on four different routes, but they all connect. And you pay uh, once, and you can get on and off all day and all night. And we have you know parking areas on the north side of our route, which is up by uh, Shooters and Bow Campers in North Fort Lauderdale. And we go as far south as Hallandale. Um, Hollywood, which is uh, down by like the Beach Walk Hotel, Diplomat Hotel, and Margaritaville. And so, you know, we really, uh, on our website, you can see how you can kind of pick and choose your trip, or you could stay on all day and do the whole thing. And um, we have all kinds of discounts and specials from all the different stops that we have for uh, discounts with your tickets for a restaurant or bike rides or that type of stuff. And, you know, and that's what we really pride ourselves in is our is our staff, our captains and crew really help, you know, uh, cultivate your day to what you want to do. I think you also are a great asset to the community because um, here you are, you're promoting everybody on the way. They must love you. They do, but we love them as well, you know, and it's, you know, a number of like the waterfront restaurants call us our second parking lot so, because we bring, you know, so many people for lunch and dinner and whatnot, so... And so, uh, how late do you run at night? Um, the last boat gets back to our place at about twelve o'clock, but they typically, you know, stop. You know, we tell people like ten, ten thirty is when you need to be on a boat heading someplace because um, things are winding down. Okay, so now I lived in <clears throat> Miami Beach when I was growing up, and they used to have boats that you got on, and they went all around the islands and told you about all the fancy people who lived in all these fancy homes. Do you do that? Yes, so we have uh, we spend quite a bit of time understanding uh, what's in Fort Lauderdale and at all these different cities that we go through, and then what's changing because things constantly are changing. So, like in Fort Lauderdale, you'll get you know one day you'll have Steven Spielberg's yacht in there for a week, and the next you know week you'll have you know Paul Allen's yacht there. So, you know we keep up with okay who who built these yachts, how big are they, who owns them, and so. Things are constantly changing. And same thing with houses. The houses are massive in all different types and styles. But, you know, like a lot of people, someone, you know, bought out Lee Majors and Farrah Fawcett's house and they tore it down and built a new one, you know. so Oh, yeah. So you have to really be on. So you have someone in your company that just concentrates on, okay, they deal with the real estate agents. and Absolutely. You know, and, and you know, the Internet's been, a, you know, a, a big help with researching these things. Um and it's really, really been, you know, um, but research is huge, you know, when we spend a lot of time at that um, staying away from water taxi lore of like, OK, well, this could kind of be all right. You know, so. so the water. So how many people can you get on one of your uh, 
We have taxis. boats that range anywhere from 20 passengers up to 200 passengers. Um, the bigger vessels all have uh, bars, bathrooms. They have actually climate-controlled cabin space. They're, we call them our double-deckers. Um, and so you can sit outside, you can sit inside, and it's a very nice way to you know, get around the waterways. A lot of our 60-passenger boats, we sell beer and wine on them, and they have bathrooms and stuff too, but it's, uh, and they're just a really nice, more intimate way. So. I've been on the smaller ones because I want you to get somewhere. <laughs> right. And I just jumped on there. I do remember doing that. But it was a long, quite a long time ago. It may have even been before you owned sure. it. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I think this is, this is uh, not expensive. And that's what I want everyone to understand. And we sure. ought to talk about that. Because, you know, seniors are always looking also for, for something to do. Sure. And you know, by the time they get a bus and they come down, and, and that isn't very expensive. So what would it take for... A senior or an adult or children, just give us an, an idea. Sure. So we have, a, you know, our pricing, you know, we really looked at the different demographics. And so for an adult, an all-day fare is $26. And that allows you to the whole 17 miles of waterways. And you can get on and off, and it continues all the way into the night. Seniors are $21. And then after 5 o'clock, we have what we call a Moonlight Special. Moonlight Madness is the name of it. And Moonlight Madness is only $16. And that allows you, once again, to get on and off all evening, and that starts at 5 o'clock at night. Oh, okay. And so uh, do you, can you pay with a credit card when you get there? I mean, can you pay on the ship? Yes. We uh, recommend you buy online just mm-hmm. to save you the convenience um, of dealing with um, you know, a financial transaction. Mm-hmm. But you can buy your uh, tickets and stuff on the boat. And then we have resellers, actually, all around the city. If you're at a hotel, typically your concierge or your hotel actually probably has the ability to sell you a water taxi ticket as well. Okay, so now we're on the water taxi, and we can start at different places. Uh, do you have, like, how do you, does it automatically stop at places? Do you have to pull a little button and say, hey, I want to get off there? <laughs> no, we actually <laughs> probably operate a little bit closer to a trolley where, uh, you know, we make every stop and stop every time. Um we have what we call a uh, we call it the water taxi tracker, but it's a new app that we highly recommend people download because you can see where all the boats are, you can see what time they're going to show up at your destination, you can see what directions they're heading, you can actually pick the style of boat you want to go on off this tracker. So if you're looking for one of these double decker boats, you could say, "Oh, okay, I see that, and I want to get on. I'm going to wait for the next one." Type thing. So well, this is such a tourist attraction. And I would think Fort Lauderdale. I know they do, did love you because that's when I went to the the big um, convent, you know, conference that they sure. had. But um, it, I, it's funny that I Miami with all their water. I don't think they have anything this nice. They no, have something uh, that you can see down there yeah, by Biscayne, but it's not like this. No, this is you know Fort Lauderdale or actually Broward County is so unique in its geography. One thing that was an eye opener to me, I didn't realize that Fort Lauderdale actually has 165 miles of waterways and canals. And like I said, we only do 17 of it. So you can get a scale of the size of it. And there's, I've been in the water transportation business, you know, for 25 years, and there's no place geographically in the world like this except Venice. And, you know, Fort Lauderdale. Its tagline is We're the Venice of America. And it really is unique that you can see. You know, a lot of different houses and yachts, but the beaches, the restaurants, state parks. And we really try to tailor ourselves to, you know, uh, work through all the ages and demographics. We, we, you know, diligently say, hey, we're good from someone from three years old to 80, you know, or beyond. But it's like I, I would say that kids would love this. Totally. Kids love it. Seniors love it. You know, middle age, youngsters, millennials, and everybody uses it for different reasons. And. We have a number of itinerary suggestions on our websites, you know, so if people kind of go like, well, what is it? What do I do? You know, I suggest you go to our website at watertaxi.com. And I think it could be a very romantic evening for us people who've not, you know, all these people who are meeting online and then now they can get on the ship and now somebody's doing something for them. They don't have to just go and talk. Yes. No, it's a very uh, romantic uh, engagement. The amount of people that I have met that have gotten engaged on the water no taxi kidding. is staggering. <laughs> and then great. last week or two weeks ago, we actually performed a wedding on board, which people were just like, do you mind if we bring on our minister while we're underway and have a wedding ceremony? And we were like, oh, sure, that's, go ahead. So other people were there watching and they loved it. Yep. 
Now, that's something you probably hadn't thought about. No, we, we didn't. <laughs> oh, I love that. Soon there'll be bar mitzvahs. Who knows what you're going to have, it. right? Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's a good thing to think about. So, uh, now, this is a weird question because, you see, I brought my dog to the radio show. <laughs> do you allow dogs? We do. The, you're uh, kidding. No. I, I, did, I needed to ask no, you that we, I didn't you know, we didn't. To- it you know uh, at first we didn't. I love dogs, and everybody in my our company does. But one of the problems we had was just space and seats. Over time, you know, the service animal uh, issues have been coming up, and we just got to the point where we said, "Hey, look, just let all the dogs on because it was easier." Because a lot of people are walking their dog. Right. Oh, that that just so. oh your points just went up a hundred percent for me. <laughs> oh, so dogs are allowed to because it is amazing how people now. They, they don't care about their children as much as they do with oh, their it's dogs. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> but, yeah. but it's great, you know. Yeah, and it is. And you know, and the other thing that was interesting down in South Florida here, you don't get people coming on with you know a Great Dane. You know, it's no. mostly smaller Little dogs, dogs exactly. and they're you know most of them are <clears throat> you know in strollers or you know small <laughs> cages or on someone's <laughs> lap. So no, that's but. great. Well, that makes that's very nice, also. Okay, so tell me now. You just—I was going to ask you a question. What was the most unusual thing that's happened on your boat? So you just had a wedding, or anything else? Um, no, that—that's probably right up there. <laughs> We've had a couple requests for spreading ashes at sea, and we. Oh, we, I would. But, did you but, allow them to do that? No, we were supposed to be licensed for all that. Yeah, so we and didn't, that's you know, a little. Yeah, yeah, they could probably not ask you, and then just the driver just <laughs> turn it. Off. They could do that. But, <laughs> So. Oh, that's funny. No, well, that's that's a different thing. But uh, and are there rough days? Are there days you don't go? No, the you know we operate all the time. We don't operate on Christmas Day, and um, you know we shut down a little bit early on Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Eve. But the rest of the time, I mean, it's all in the intercoastal waterway, so it's flat calm, you know. And um, so there's no worry about motion sickness or any of that type of thing. And it's uh, you know, but we've no, we've never shut down for weather. You know. Okay, so here, I keep thinking sure. about some unusual things. Have you ever had a catered event? Yes. So we actually will charter our boats out to um, groups um, or events for whatever, and it's very interesting because we have the ability to take people for a boat ride, and then sometimes we take them to a destination, like they might go to Birch Park for a bar mitzvah or a wedding. Or something where they go, hey, we're going to arrive by boat. We're going to come here and have this event and then maybe get back on the boat and leave. Or sometimes we'll just do, you know, private charters around for an hour or two with, you know, um, some type of cruise for all kinds of groups. We get into corporate um, team building events where right. we have, you know, mansion and marina tours, scavenger hunts and that type of thing as well. I would think that. So the reason people need to buy tickets really would be because there wouldn't be enough room on the coming back. They want to come back. Yeah, no, there's there's always plenty of room, you know, because the boats are running the frequencies very, you know, high. And, you know, our first focus of business is the water taxi and water taxi routes. It's not charters and, and things like that. So, um, but we really are into, you know, customer service. We're constantly adding, you know, boats and whatnot. We're actually going to be uh, adding two more boats next fall, you know, so we'll be up to a fleet of 14 and, well, you must uh, be so happy. I want to just tell you, you're listening to this, this charming guy who's such an entrepreneur. His name is Bill Walker. He's president of the Water Taxi of Fort Lauderdale. And let me give you a way that you can do, just get on the website. It's called, it's easy, watertaxi.com. I mean, get on there. You'll buy your tickets there. You'll get to see where it goes. It's a, it's really marvelous. And I, uh, I will give you a phone number if you do want to talk to someone. And it's 954 467 Five six seven seven. Will that get it? Six six seven seven. Six six seven seven. Is that what I said? No. Six six seven seven. Yeah. Or okay. Six six seven seven. Right. So it's a uh, nine five four four six seven six six seven seven. True. Okay. I got that. <laughs> so you can. Um, they have senior sale days, and uh, is that less money than? Regular? Yeah. Basically, we're looking to you know entice groups of. Um, seniors to come with us and so we've come up with a program called senior sale days what's a group consist of uh it's a group of 10 or more and we just like you to call the office and make a reservation and so we can you know make sure you have a great experience <clears throat> and um tickets are 12 dollars each and it once again it's all day it's not oh, you know amazing. uh a spe- specified time or whatever 
but it really was meant for groups of of uh, seniors. That you're really thinking of everything, and so it's uh, of course your experience up in Boston. That was an interesting story too. That you you know you really were running something similar to this, but then this is a much easier way. You don't have all that traffic, uh, not traffic. I mean, you don't have all the weather problems. No temperature, but, right? But you know, <laughs> I, I, that's no temperature. But really, the traffic is what's going to be your best. The best thing for you, because all of us are complaining, whether it's I-95. Well, okay, forget I-95. But let's just talk about in, in all these streets, going from point A to point B and parking, and it's ridiculous. And now you get on a water taxi, and you're going to have fun for the whole day, night, whatever you're going to do. And that and that's a very good point, because we're really into, you know, uh, having a stress-free day. And, you know, if it's really, as we talked earlier, you know, it's it's romantic, but it's fun. It's like, okay, what a better way. You could sit and do, you know, cabs or this, that, or the other thing. But it really is that much fun to, you know, park, get on the boat, go cruise around. Um, you can pretty much almost recoup your ticket cost if you went to a restaurant by the discounts that you get at the restaurants. So a lot of the restaurants offers 10% off on your your bill if you present your water taxi ticket. So you're really so, working very closely with them, which is very much so. Amazing. We we have an amazing business relationship in and around our whole route, um, and I love the business community because they recommend us and we recommend them. And everything's you know all the restaurants are different. And people ask, they go, "Hey, if I'd like an old Florida restaurant with a fish sandwich, we may go. Hey, go over to Fifteen Street Fisheries. If someone says, "Hey, I'd like something a little more upscale with a." a TV to watch a football game, maybe go to Bow Campers, you know, or if you want to go to Las Olas. But it really is, and that's what our captains and crew really pride themselves in, is really helping you, you know, get what you want out of your day. Well, when did you all, maybe it was way before you, but how did they establish the docking? You know, that takes a lot to be able to dock these boats. Well, what we did is, so we are licensed by all uh, five cities that we go to, but in Fort Lauderdale, as an example, we have public docks that we go to. So it might be like along Las Olas Boulevard or um, down by 17th Street. But the rest of the stops are all private. And so those are all, you know, private discussions and whatnot. And basically, once again, it was, hey, how could I help improve my business? But how can they help improve their business? And that's where the synergy of, you know, business to business relationship is extremely strong on what we deliver in terms of customer service and product and what these restaurants or hotels or parks or whatever deliver back to us. Yeah, because people getting off and on the the boats, the taxis, you know, that's a little bit of an effort. It, people have to be careful. You probably, your your team helps them get off, get on. And- yeah, you have to be careful. And, you know, we are big into, you know, uh, and some of this is, you know, uh, public um, mobility issues as well as private mobility issues, but we're huge into access. I've been in the passenger vessel business for over 25 years, actually won awards from the federal government for access in the passenger vessel industry. And we look at, you know, from three years old to 90 years old as everyone's handicapped at some level, whether you're towing a bag, a stroller, or you just have mobility issues. And that was Yeah, that was my next question. So if someone has a walker, yep. you're going to – they're going to come up to the edge and then yep. you're going to help them get in and then they get their walker. So Correct. that's a very important thing if you're looking at seniors. You know? Absolutely. And then we also invested in a, uh, a floating dock system down at 17th Street where it allows you, that is completely 100% um, accessible. So onto the dock and onto the boat. So it's all level where everything else around the cities and the county is all fixed docks. They're a little more challenging and, you know, if you have questions on access or or um, whatnot, please call the office because we really are, you know, we'll help you out with understanding what's going on and the best way to get around for the day. And and so, again, you know, this is Pencil Talk Radio. You know what that means. Write down everything because if you don't, I always call Pencil Talk Radio. <laughs> I've been idea. doing this for 25 years, and they always call my office. Well, what was that phone number? It's Pencil Talk Radio. Get your pencils out. Phone number 954 467 6677 467 or go to watertaxi.com that's so easy and it's uh and it says it's more than just a boat ride and it is just more than a boat ride and 
And people always wonder, what do I do when I'm bringing my friends down? And I've been telling them now, go down to Fort Lauderdale, get on a water taxi, you'll spend the whole day. And and actually, there are people now, I would think the hotels would love this, because you don't have to rent, you know, you get from the airport, you can literally get, you know, uh, the tax, the, uh, the, I guess the taxi or whatever from the hotel. Then you don't even need to rent a car because you're going to get to see the city. Right. Right. Because if you get off, then you go walk along Las Olas, get back on the boat. Yeah, we stop at uh, nine major hotels, <clears throat> you know, all the way up and down our route. So there literally is walking right out the back door. And um, it's, you know, we work quite a bit with the hotels. The cruise ship industry is another big one, you know, where How's hotels. That? Ha- well, the hotels are having turnover issues where people are getting off these ships at eight in the morning. They can't check into their rooms till two in the afternoon. So the hotels are all getting into storage of luggage and then, you know, saying, hey, get out and get on the water tank. That's right. That's beautiful. I wouldn't so, have thought of that. What a natural for yeah, you. Yeah, it's really awesome. Some of the hotels actually will give you complimentary tickets. You know, Of course, because now they're going to keep you busy. When you come right. back, you'll be happy. You'll get into your hotel room. That's fabulous. Exactly. Whoever, I guess you kind of thought about that and helped work with them. You're very clever. I didn't do it all by myself. Yeah, but you're very clever. <laughs> I know, but I think that's a great need. Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, cruise ships, that's right. They bring them in at the at a different time and, and the whole thing. Well, so, and of course, we're not, uh, this is a strange question to ask you. So if you, you're expanding, would you ever consider coming up to Palm Beach County? Oh, we definitely are. I've been uh, talking. I just. <laughs> I've been talking quite a bit with the. Uh, Boy, County officials and city and whatnot. They and, need uh, you because they have so much water up there. And we're looking, you know, from Pompano to Boca to Deerfield up to Palm Beach. So Absolutely. it's just, you know, all it takes is time and money. So, but we're, you know, we're getting there. It certainly um, has some very worthy potential. Oh, it would because you have also <laughs> a lot of fantastic places, the homes on Palm Beach and even other places. But, and, uh, and of course, Boca, I mean, you could do Boca, but I think the whole area up in West Palm with sure it was beautiful and Pompano is loaded with water. And they, right, and you know, and they, and they um, every place has its unique signature, and there's you know, um, and so they're all worthy of looking at, at for you know for various. Uh, reasons. Yeah, that's great. So, so if let's just ask, what if someone tends to get <clears throat> seasick? Are you they going to get seasick on this? Because you will ask not. Me that. You will not get seasick on the water taxi. I. We've owned the company for over ten years. I have not heard of anyone getting seasick. Okay. So, and um, so that's because it's just water. it's on the it's intercoastal just, waterway. Right. It's literally like riding down a highway in terms of smoothness. Right. You know, is it diesel that that promote? That yes, runs we have a uh, di- all our boats are diesel powered, and um, we're all uh, tier three, tier four compliant, and um, they're in phenomenal shape. And I know you've. You're hearing that from me, the owner. No, of the I, I have seen are. them. They are they're beautiful, and they're all yellow, so you won't miss them either. Um, and so you really don't have any competition. No one would dare because they don't, you don't need more than what you just. No, did. and it's it's a tough market to get into, and, and for anyone else to get into it, really, these business relationships we've developed with the others is is so so important to our success. It's like we can't, you know, we can't deliver a poor product and go to a nice restaurant because. Of they won't so. want to see no. it tomorrow, you know. Okay, so do you have, I, I don't know where I just thought of this, because I have triplet grandchildren. <laughs> I was thinking, do you have little water taxi, like uh, cars that you can sell? No, we don't have uh, much memorabilia that we hand out or sell, and uh, we've thought about that. We've actually had a couple requests from hotels now that want to sell water taxi memorabilia, so we're we're, we're helping Wait, sponsor a golf co- uh, oh. tournament next month with the chamber, and we bought uh, Wilson golf balls with water taxi logos on. Oh, it, so. that's just my budget. <laughs> but the cars, I guess the taxis would be expensive to try to yeah, make them. But I think people would. That's kind of a uh, fun thing. I agree. No memorabilia is a big deal. So. No, it is, especially on that. I mean, I go to uh, one of my the car dealership I go to, and the guy has memorabilia from every place he's been up on his. Little right. shelf, sure. And uh, but, uh, you can picture the water taxi. That's really cute, you yeah. know, the way that you've figured it out. And sure. All. And and so, and and okay. Are, so, are you ever in the boat parade? 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're a, huge, I would say- we're a huge participants in the boat parade. We <laughs> Last year Go we crazy. donated um, six boats to his volunteer patrol boats to help out with the parade. Then we had four boats that were in the parade. Um, That's Winterfest. Correct. And they were chartered out to like the Marlins, right. the Tortuga Music Festival. I would think Habitat, so. Habitat um, for Humanity. I forget who the fourth one was, but you know, no, we're big into the boat parade. I'm on the board of directors. Uh, of for course, the boat I'm, I'm <laughs> sure I'm such a natural. But I was thinking about that that <clears throat> charities are always looking for something different. So any of you listening now, this would be a great way to have a charity. Absolutely. You can get up to 200 people on the big one, or you can have them in two or three boats. It doesn't have the ships, you know, ships or yeah. taxis. You don't have to have them all in one. That's a very interesting thing for. Yeah. A way to, to uh, get money for your charity. Oh, absolutely. And we they do. do all the work. You don't have to do anything, no, right? No, and we're really philanthropic with things in and around, you know, the county I can as tell. well. So the, I can uh, tell. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's very important. So, And I, I do have to say that um, Bill is uh, really very perky, and I can tell he's a lot of fun. So if you want to uh, have him come for a speech, I'm sure he'd be doing that. He'll come and talk to anybody, right? <laughs> Just about, yes. He would like to come, of course, in the water taxi, but if you're on the inline, he may not be able to do that. Okay, well, I just want to give everybody your phone number again. It's 954-467-6677. Thank you, Bill. This has been just great. It's fantastic. Thank you very yeah, much. You're welcome. And, uh, yeah. It's, well, you're going to have a you're going to have a good um, turnout on water taxi. I know. Well, you you bit the bullet and uh it's it's the right bullet. Well, thank you. Pleasure working with you. And thank you. Others.